Welcome to Pioneers in Payments, where payments experts share their insights. Now, here's our host, Donna Blum. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Pioneers in Payments. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Andrew Gomez from Lippis Advisors. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks. I'm so glad that you could join us here today. Looking forward to just gleaning some words of wisdom from you. I always enjoy talking about what's happening in the payments industry. This is certainly a very uh, uh, interesting time in the industry, an exciting time in the industry. Uh, But to get us started, Andrew, would you mind sharing a little bit about yourself, your background in the payments industry, and the work that you do at Lippis Advisors? Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, my name is Andrew Gomez. Um, I'm originally from California, and I bring that up because I'm actually located in Germany. Um, I've been here for about 15 years, uh, and I, I work for Lippis Advisors. We are an account-to-account payment consultancy um, based in Germany, but we're actually global act, uh, globally active. Um, so I do a lot of work in North America, uh, Western Europe, and I do some work in South Africa, uh, South America, and increasingly APAC. Um, so we really are global in our, our perspective. Um, in terms of my background, so I've been in the payments industry for eight years um, as a consultant. Um, and basically, I started off working on a what was essentially an online encyclopedia of payment systems. So I was doing research on ACH. Uh, real-time RTGS systems around the world. I think I covered something like 50 markets on all three systems. Um, So my background is really in comparative uh, payment systems. Um, And I use that that work to help my clients with things like product development, benchmarking, um, market entry, product uh, uh, advancement, you know, understanding all the different tools and, and that's going on around the world and how they can learn and, and use that for their own purposes. That's great. So helpful. So needed uh, today, for sure, as the industry continues to evolve and, and change and innovate. Um, so, like I mentioned, a lot happening in the industry today. What would you say is the most notable trend? Yeah, I think there's actually three things that separate, like separately work together. Or, or they work separately on their own, but when you combine them, uh, the the sum is greater than the, the the individual parts, and that's things like open banking, um, instant payments, and increasingly request for pay uh, is what is for, referred to in the U.S. and other markets as request to pay. And I, and the reason I think that is, if you think about how consumers or even businesses make payments and some of the pain points. Um, in terms of making and receiving payments and reconciling those and and then getting the funds um, and the protections involved and everything. Um, I think combining those three topics really has uh, the potential to change a lot of how we make payments today, whether we're consumers and, you know, buying a pair of jeans online or if you're a business paying suppliers um, or if you're, let's say, a consumer and wanting to take out a loan. Uh, I think all three of these um, combine really well and can really change uh, the nature of the payments industry over the next five to 10 years. I agree. Those are definitely very um, top trends that we're seeing in the industry. So um, most of the audience that we reach with this podcast are payments professionals. They work for organizations that process payments. What would you say is the biggest opportunity for these types of organizations today? Yeah, I, I would say it's really taking these three different topics that I just mentioned and figuring out how to utilize them and how to meet the requirements of those organizations' customers. So, for example, if you're a banker's bank, how can you how can you ensure that your clients have access to the liquidity and products and services that they need? If you have a lot of consumer clients, how can you ensure that consumers can make the different payments that they they want to make and do so in a secure manner and a flexible way? Uh, If um, you have a lot of merchants, depending on what type of merchants they are, maybe you need to create new products and services that allows the merchants to accept payments from clients um, in, in new and innovative ways. So I think there's a lot of opportunity. Um, There's also a lot of work to be done. Yes, there is. 
Um, okay, so we just talked about the greatest opportunity. What would you say is the greatest challenge? I think it's the same thing, actually, because while the topics that I mentioned are relatively easy to understand, creating useful products and services that meet consumer needs, that meet merchant needs, do so in a meaningful way and a cost-effective way, that's a lot more difficult than just understanding the, the potential. Um, so I think um, the community as a whole, as well as individual players, will need to figure out how do we how do we best utilize these these topics for our our clients? It's going to be yeah, it's a lot easier said than done. Right. There's a lot involved, a lot of moving pieces for sure, um, and changing an ecosystem takes some time, right? Um, also, uh, so my my favorite question is you know, I'm sort of asking you to take your sum total of knowledge about what's happening in the industry today and provide a silver bullet piece of advice. What would that be? So I think it's really um, about understanding your customers. Um, you can't be, you know, the one size fits all organization for everyone. So instead of trying to figure out how can I build 15 different products that meet every single niche need, Focus on who is who is your client base now? What exactly do they need? You know, I think a really great example of this is 20 years ago, no one would have said that they needed a smartphone that has apps to give them directions and to order food and to, you know, rent a, a car. However, we realized that as the smartphones became available and that the that the opportunity was there, that you could do these create these apps on a smartphone and therefore meet the client needs. So I think it's the same thing with, with, with banks and financial institutions, that understanding what your customer, who your customer is, and understanding the pain points that they have, try to tailor your, tailor your services to your customers and then move on from there. That's great advice. So Andrew, I also wanna make sure that our audience knows how you know, they can learn more about Lipis Advisors and the services that you provide. Um, so what information would you like to share? Um, I guess you can email me at andrew.gomez at lipisadvisors.com or, or go to our website, um, lipisadvisors.com, and uh, get in touch with us there. We have a lot of white papers um, on various topics that you can download and read about. Um, and if you have any questions about what's going on in other markets and what other countries are doing and how you can learn from that, um, we'd be happy to chat with you. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Andrew. I really appreciate your time today. I know our audience does as well. And I just wanna thank everybody for watching today. Have a great day.